Welcome to this video about the treaty with plain C sharp. Well, this is my attempt to learn a little bit more about treaty, how it's working. So I was trying to learn about this, and I'm using, I'm not using any treaty framework, only plain C sharp. So to make the drawings, I use three methods from the system drawing graphics class that draw onto a picture box. The methods are draw line, draw string, and fill polygon. And the most important is draw line. I could do without these two. Okay, so let's uh, look at the application. So uh, my first attempt was just to create the coordinate system. So, uh, so it looks like that. And if that's too much, you can just show the axis here. And then I add so I, a cube to that. Okay, that's like that. And uh, I can just move it up on the set axis, up on the x axis and y axis. Just move it around like that, it works fine. If you want to see the git, you can also do that still. Okay. And I can rotate this like that. Okay. That's fine. Okay, but um, and I can also rotate the cube itself, just like in discrete, uh, like that, just by changing the sides. This is not uh, perfect. I was uh, trying to get the full 3D effect on this cube, because I couldn't get underneath it for real. So I have to, uh, like, you can, uh, I try to tilt the the gitter, the it's not perfect, you see. And if I want to go underneath it, this looks like that. I have to change the paint order. So now I'm looking up underneath the cube. It's not good. It's not really good. But this was a good first attempt, I thought. So. So uh, then I read about it, this on the internet, of course, and uh, there is this article in Wikipedia and uh, lots of, some video also on YouTube. So you have to new, use this basic rotation matrix. Okay, so, okay, so uh, I put that into here. Now I added these three axes. Okay. And now I can rotate those full 3D, you see? And to see the effect for real, I just added those points, so you can see it's like a cube. And I can make it a little bit bigger. Now I can just still have that if you want, of course. But I can just move that, and I just make it automatically. So it now goes around 100%. And I also paint one of the sides so that you can get the effect a little bit better. <coughs> okay, so uh, what's happening here? Well, let's just stop this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what are we seeing up here? Those are the, the three X, Y and Z coordinate inside the other axis of course <coughs> and the calculation is here the set vector x position is is 0 0.9 <coughs> 0 0.9 but that's not the, it says 62.7 here well if you take 0 0.9 and multiply it by 20 the length and add it to 44 you get up to 62.7 Okay, so uh, let's look at the code a little bit. There. So uh, this is the list box here. It's what we see here. here. This is all the calculations <coughs> here. Okay. And then I have to get the 
from the three, three points of x, y, and z, I have to get a 2D point with x and y. And I have created this method here. <coughs> now I have the 2D. Now I can draw the coordinate system. So these three lines here, where I draw a line, is these lines here. Okay? So, uh, and then I have a checkbox here. So I draw an extra string, which is the calculation. So if I just push that, now you cannot see the calculation here. You see? Now you see the calculation. And then here, down here, uh, I get those extra points to get a, a real 3D cube here. So I draw all these lines extra. Here. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 extra lines. So if you look at it, we have three lines here. And then I have the cube. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 extra lines. Okay, so uh, and then the last point is uh, a checkbox also. This is for the fill polygon here, which is that one. So that was it. Thank you.